Hi there. So we're in to October and you know, we have long weekend coming up, Thanksgiving, Canadian Thanksgiving. And so what I want to focus on for this short little video is just giving you some tips on how do you navigate these occasions? This comes up all the time with clients I'm dealing with as we're going through programs and it can, it can be phases like when they're actually trying to lose the weight, when we're transitioning and I'm supporting them into actually getting into the lifestyle maintaining, right? It's kind of a three phase process and requires different strategies, different mindset. So nonetheless, this time period is challenging, right? You've got A from a, the, just the food, how to navigate the food, how, other options, things like that. And then there's sort of the, the mindset side of it. How do you stay on track? Not to mention navigating potentially some of the emotional relationships, just even in around food. Um, so I'm just going to touch on a few things here. The type of stuff that I, you know, chat with and, and guide clients with all the time and just share them with you to help you so you can kind of get through this, uh, the, the upcoming long weekend and feel good about it afterwards. So speak, speaking of that, starting with feeling good about it, number one, depends on what is, what is it that you want out of this? What's your goal? Are you still trying to lose weight? You want to keep losing weight? Are you at the phase where maybe you're losing weight, but you're okay if you come out of it just maintaining? You won't be disappointed. You know, are you truly at the point where you're just maintenance, right? And you just want to be able to kind of have strategies to either not gain or if you do, you know how to get rid of the weight. I'm not going to focus as much on that. I'm going to focus more on how do you navigate this being trying to, you're trying to lose weight, you want to stay on track, or maybe you're just getting out of losing weight. You just, it's a kind of a tricky situation and that, you know, it wouldn't take much for you to kind of pack weight back on. So dealing with that, how to deal with this. So number one. We're going to look at a couple of things. So clarify your own expectations so that you come out of it feeling okay with what you decided and you stuck to your plan, whether it's to lose or maintain. Secondly, let's look at the, I'm going to look at this from a body standpoint and mindset. Everything I do, it's always mind, body, mind, body. You know, when it comes to health, when it comes to losing weight, it's both, right? It's never just one or the other. So let's talk about some of the body strategies to help you. So first of all, if you come into this, whether you're hosting, whether you're going to something, I know this year it's kind of weird. I have a feeling that there might be a lot of large family gatherings, but nonetheless, maybe you're having a few people over, who people who are in your little pod, or you're going over to somebody's family member's home and, and, and still going to be having to deal with what they serve. So from a body standpoint, a couple of tips. One is don't go into the event hungry. Some people think, well, I just, I won't eat much and then, and then I'll be okay. And then when they get there, they're starving. Then there's all this food floating around, especially if there's appetizers and whatnot. And you're kind of setting yourself up to maybe not have the best self-control. Because if you're physically really hungry, it's really hard to say no to things. Um, so take the edge off. You know, if you need to have a little bit of a healthy snack before you go, like some veg, a little bit of nuts, a little bit of protein, something just so you go in, you know, yes, you can be a bit hungry to enjoy, you know, to, to enjoy a big meal, but at the same time, you're not starving. You haven't starved yourself. Um, the other thing to look at, and this might start a few days before, is try not to kind of have your blood sugar swinging all over the place. And I don't know if you've ever noticed this. I know I have, you know, if I've, for whatever reason, have maybe overdone it on a a weekend there's been special occasions and there's been more uh, things that will spike blood sugar like breads and desserts and alcohol things like that consumed often the next day or two i feel it more i feel hungrier it's kind of like the blood sugar's crashed it's driving the desire for more potentially more food more more sugary food more sweets just look, your body's looking for energy, right? It's gone up, it's insulin's gone up, blood sugars have gone up, it's come down. It's the, you're riding the roller coaster. Well, when you're doing that, and if you come into your a few days before, it's gonna be a lot harder for you to kind of just manage physically. Your body's gonna be giving you very strong signals to go for the sugar, to get more carby type food. So just try to eat clean a few days before, just level that out. That's a couple of tips from a body standpoint. The other thing is what you can do is to look at, think of replacements you can use food wise to make it so you can still enjoy your Thanksgiving meal, but have healthier options. Um, again, this is going to depend a little bit on if you're hosting or you're going to somebody else's place. So let's say you're going to somebody else's, your traditional 
turkey dinner, Thanksgiving turkey. Turkey is actually great protein to have. It's good. It's healthy. Hopefully there's lots of some veg, like particularly the green veg things, you know, cauliflower, broccoli, maybe some squash, that kind of stuff is great. You don't need to worry about that. The, 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 the ones that are a little trickier when you get into the, obviously the stuffing, mashed potatoes. Uh, some people might do like a sweet potato type casserole. Um, you know, that's when you're getting into the kind of carb heavy type meals that if you're trying to lose weight are really going to sabotage your efforts. So what you can do is you're going to somebody house, somebody's home is maybe to offer to bring something that could replace one of those that's a healthier option. Like cauliflower, there's so many things you can do with cauliflower. You can look up recipes if you don't, if you, um, you know, don't have any offhand online. I mean, it's so easy to access this information. You can look up cauliflower to replace mashed potatoes, cauliflower mash. And it's delicious. Trust me, it's good. I've had it. It's like so good. Um, there's other recipes you get for a stuffing. So this would be more of a technically dressing because it's on the side. It actually isn't cooked in the turkey. But something to replace that. And it can be, again, there's ones using cauliflower. Uh, there's stuffings you can do using more root vegetables, which is still on the carby side, but you're staying away from your grains, like more of that white bread type stuff um, that might be used in stuffing. Ones that are a combination or a little bit of nuts and cauliflower. There's a lot of great recipes there. So you could offer to bring that and then that can, you eat that and I bet you, other, a lot of other people are gonna dig into that. So bring extra for others. Likewise, if you're hosting, you know, you can make these alternatives so that you have options. Um, and without a doubt, others will want to partake of that. And also things, if, again, if you're hosting or going somewhere, if they do do appetizers, you can offer to bring something. You can bring kind of a veggie platter with, you know, d depending on what you're, you're doing, you know, some salsa if you do nuts and things like that. So there's a, a healthier option for you that's going to help you stay on track with your weight loss. Um, dessert, hmm. well, you know, that's a tricky one. <laughs> but again, obviously staying away from dessert is ideal. You know, if you're bringing an alternative or you serve an alternative, just a bowl of fresh berries, things like that, that can be um, an alternative so you don't have to get into like pumpkin pies and whatnot. And you can feel like you're still partaking. So those are a few of the body things you can do. In terms of mindset, this is huge. I mean, the biggest thing is go with a plan. If you go in, fingers crossed, kind of like, oh, hopefully it'll work out. Um, you're going to set yourself up to maybe run into challenges. So obviously if you're cooking, it's much easier for you to have your plan, what you're going to have. If you're going to somebody else's place, again, ideally knowing what they're going to serve and just mentally get prepared. Just know, okay, this is what I'm going to have. These are my replacements and just put some thought to it beforehand. Um, and this is the type of thing I'll like with clients I would recommend or, you know, if they're going out to restaurants, like look at the menu. Don't just go in there and get blindsided because when you're in the event, and it's you're distracted and it's fun and it's particularly when you have strong associations with having certain foods at this time of the year it's it, it's hard i'm not going to pretend it's not hard but when you go in with a, having put a plan in place for your, mentally you have a much higher likelihood of following through on that and on that note the other part that can really help you is if you're really have a goal in mind with your weight loss and why it's important to you and the outcomes you're looking for Reconnect with that goal before you go to the dinner or before the people arrive at your house. Um, why do you want to do this and why is that important to you? I use the term building your lighthouse, like that's your guide. Sometimes you're reconnecting with that and that longer term fulfillment can hopefully override sort of that short term pleasure and short term gratification that having some of the foods that are being served that aren't going to support you. Um, it's going to serve you in terms of being able to say no to them. So those are just a few of the things that can help you. Lastly, this one's a bit dicey. Uh, again, it gets a bit more mindset. Sometimes with these occasions, um, a lot of traditions around food and there can be, you know, family members that may get offended if you're not eating their dish that they made and brought, you know, Aunt Ruth is going to get very upset if you don't eat her mashed potatoes and give you a hard time about it. Um, some people just, you know, some people just, they don't want you to be kind of watching your weight. They're like, oh, just do this. No big deal. You can go off your, go back on track tomorrow and kind of your saboteurs. They probably mean well, but 
just mentally again get prepared for that maybe some of them they're really pushy maybe you need to let them know ahead of time what you're doing at the end of the day you are accountable to you uh, you don't need to try and please them but you can also appreciate where they're coming from um, and just in the nicest way possible you know just uh, let them know you'll take your you know Aunt Ruth you're gonna eat her her uh, her pie or whatever it is that she makes next year take a slice I'll take it home and enjoy it tomorrow and then just don't eat it um, so it can be a tricky one, but just again, just at least thinking it through, how are you going to handle it so you don't get blindsided by it and then get pressured into eating things that, you know, at the end of the day, you'd really try, would rather avoid. So there's some help for you. So enjoy your Thanksgiving. At the end of the day, it's really about gathering with people that you love, you care about, and hopefully that time together is going to give you enough enjoyment and fulfillment it doesn't need to come from the food, right? So just keep that in mind as well. And there's going to be several more Thanksgivings to come. So you know what? If you don't eat the full dinner this time, that's okay. There'll be other years. Okay, so listen, have a great Thanksgiving. And um, I uh, will connect with you again. Take care. Bye-bye.